Hey Duramax race fans and all you Silverado guys. Hey, on these Silverado trucks like 2001 to 2010, you guys are going to have a problem. You smell smoke in the cabin when you turn on your air. This is the blower motor relay. Now, if you look carefully, you can see that that pin's burnt. Number three, you'll see it's burnt right there. Okay, that pin's burnt. That's number three right there. I can't see real, but it, that one's that one's the one that gets cooked. Okay, that number three pin is a black wire right here, and you see it's melted. This truck smelled like smoke today, and now you can see that pin is burnt. That's a ground. Okay, that's a that's a ground. It's not power. It's ground. So here's how you fix this. Now you guys are talking about GM has an updated connector and all that. No way. It's the same connector just to get these these trucks catch on fire with these. So. Here's the fix. See that wire going to the motor? We actually tie into it. You can see it very good. The black and the and the and the red wire, which is this one here, on your blower motor relay. This is the red wire for power. This is the black wire for ground. We tie into the wire here. This will be going to your to your blower motor. The connectors are cut off here. But this will be going to your blower motor, okay? This is the hot side. This is the black as the ground. You want to cut off a piece of this wire. Don't cut it in two. Just trim it off and solder another heavy-duty wire onto it. And then you want to take it. And there's a there's a metal tab here. You can see this up here. There's a metal there's a metal tab. I wish I had my light on. My light on. It's right here. That metal tab is right there. You can put a screw right in there. So that's very short. So you run that wire with an eyelet right here up this metal tab and that grounds it to the actual truck the truck body that's ground here's that tab okay I'm gonna put a screw right in that tab see that tab right there that's where that, that's where that tab is okay you put a screw right in that tab quarter inch screw but a bang you're fixed now also think about this if the motor was shot it'd be pulling more power on the power side you have a ground and a hot if that motor's pulling 30 amps of power which is too much the motor would become hot or it would blow the fuse not the ground so the issue is, is that this ground wire uh, this has got a brand new uh this this truck here caught on fire once so i had to put a whole new harness in the cab this is a brand new harness from from gm but that runs all the way through this cab to your batteries that's how far that uh, ground has to go with that little wire the biggest problem is that you're going metal to metal on a small connector that's why they all burn right right there they all do it that's the ground the black wire see that see how that black, that wire got melted today it's dangerous we're in the truck and we smelled it and i've done tons of these so it's easy fix okay you don't need to buy a new blower resistor okay we're just going to bypass the ground from the going from th this point into your blower that's all we're doing so anyways i hope this video helps you guys out this is cool i'm gonna put it back together i know the wire is red i didn't have any black but we don't care because you know i mean i know what it is but anyways that goes to the to the ground wire of the blower the black wire so get some heavy duty stuff so there you go you fixed your uh, truck it won't happen again take care